Good Monday morning, everyone. God bless you today for joining with us for our morning prayer and devotion at the beginning of this brand new week. And we're believing God for great things to happen through our prayers this week. And we saw answers to prayer uh, this weekend in our worship services at Greater Vision. Uh, what a blessing to see um, two of our Job Corps students um, repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus yesterday. And other students were in the altars praying for the first time. Um, we have three young ladies planning to be baptized next Sunday. And we're just thrilled to see the results only one month into the reopening of our Job Corps ministry after it had been shut down so long uh, due to the pandemic and uh, the complications caused by that. So we're thankful for what God is doing. And uh, so many things happened in our service yesterday. I believe only eternity will tell the depth of the move of God that we experienced in the service yesterday morning. So uh, I thank you for praying and for covering our services in your prayers. I know that, um, that we had a breakthrough because people were praying for the service yesterday and uh, I believe for a breakthrough today in many things that we're believing God for regardless of how long we've been praying uh, we can expect at any moment that things are going to change because um, we have the favor of God upon us and upon this ministry that we're a part of this morning. Um, Finn Walker is sick again um, he recently had pneumonia and a double ear infection and uh, yesterday he started feeling badly again and uh, this morning woke up sick and so let's pray for uh, Finn today that God would reach down and minister a healing touch to him. Charles Hedsmith is having surgery today to remove a mass from his kidney. Uh, let's pray for God to guide the surgeon's hands and for his hand to be upon Charles today. Erica Ruff is asking for prayer for a knot on her left rib cage. Uh, we're so very proud of Erica. She's uh, been watching our services online ever since uh, she was able to leave the Mingo RCF and yeah, go back out on her own. We're thankful for what God has done in her life. We met her through that ministry and uh, she's trying right now to get a car so that she can be able to come to church services in person, but I'm glad that she's watching and participating online with us. We need to keep praying for uh, Carmen's brother, George. He needs uh, complete healing. Pam Poyton's niece, Amy D., is uh, very young and is battling with congestive heart failure. We have several others who have heart issues. These include Jamie Parrott's nephew, Blaine, who's just 13 or 14 years old, Kenny Prenzel, Pastor Gail Beecher, Pastor Mark Morris, Mike Sappington, who is needing a heart transplant, Carmen's friend, Sean, uh, Joyce Fisk, Cheryl Lachance, Sister Patty Arnold, Jimmy Warren, who needs a heart valve replacement, Jenny Perkins' dad, Lynn Laycock, who has recently had uh, several heart procedures, Michelle Strain's mother, and also Erica Ruff's mother has had some issues recently with her heart. Pastor, uh, Pat's sister-in-law, Beta, has been having some chest pains. Let's continue praying for her. Tammy Lawson has asked us to pray for her as she is facing back surgery coming up on December the 21st, having surgery on her cervical spine, and she desires our prayers in regard to that. Others with back pain, Bob O, uh, Terry Nelson, Britt Moore, Cindy Page, Pam's daughter Jenny, Brianna Williams, Michael Parrott, Lori Gravel, Melena Cummins, Carolyn Rogers, and Becky Wilson. Rose Brown and June Coffer need healing of arthritis, Renee has mobility issues due to problems with her hips and knees. Chris Ramey needs healing of her knees, uh, also suffering with mobility issues due to that. Uh, several with diabetes, including Kristen's neighbor, Natalie, Jimmy Warren, Brother Pulliam, Cheryl Chance, Michael Williams, Cindy and Lloyd Page, Tim Workman, myself, my aunt, Emily Stanley, Evie, Rose Brown, Becca and her mother, Christina, J.R. Johnson, and also Christian Carr and Titus Dornbach have juvenile diabetes. Let's keep praying for those who are battling COVID and also for Cheryl Lachance's 
a family member and Sue Hilton Morris's brother who have uh, head injuries uh, in their past that have caused chronic problems. Um, we also are praying for Kendra Ortiz and Robbie Northup who have chronic lung conditions. Sarah Stroop, Riley March, Marty DeLott, and Carmen's sister Tracy suffer with MS. Uh, we're praying for those who suffer with migraines. Uh, Johnny Nelson, Beth Wheatley, Marsha Moore, and Melinda Cummins, also Marsha's co-worker son, suffering from migraines. Several children on our list daily. Let's keep praying for Arlo who is recovering from surgery last week that converted his ostomy to a more permanent feeding tube. Abram Page and Abel Ray suffer from rare uh, physical disorders and need a healing touch today, a miracle touch. Tyler Lopez needs healing with spina bifida. Lorelei, Tucker, and Jenna are battling childhood cancer. Madison recently had tumors and a cyst removed uh, through brain surgery. Sophia has been undergoing treatment for scoliosis. Let's continue praying for baby G's health issues, for Gus, ha Gus Sappington's grandson and Abby Young who have developmental delay, and Brantley and Elsie who have had heart issues since birth. Those battling cancer, let's remember Cheryl who's supposed to start radiation today. Uh, this is a request submitted by Kristen Contino. Uh, Diane Escher, Linda Fox, Joni Jones, Dennis Phelps, Sylvia Lairmore, Edie Percival, Sherry, Kay, Scott Lucia, Betty, Ari Bowers, Dwayne Lewis, Claire, Philip Randall, Alice Elizabeth, Carmen's cousin Amanda, Alicia Piero, Michelle Strange's sister Cindy, Tony Nelson, Teresa's mother, Carmen's neighbor Eddie, Marcia's friend's grandparents and Marcia's co-worker's brother, Christy Smith, Michael Boland, Sawyer, Belinda Bauer, and a lady here in Puxico with stage four breast cancer, all needing our prayers today for their miracle. Chad Jones is having a mass removed uh, that is believed to be cancerous. Uh, we need to pray for Sharon Downing, who's on a hospice care. She's been terminally ill for quite some time. She needs strength and her family needs strength as well as they are caring for her around the clock. Uh, Johnny asks us to pray for Lee, who's also in hospice care. Uh, Lee and his wife, Rose, both need our continued prayers today. My mother-in-law, Beulah Ziegler, suffers with Parkinson's disease and progressive supranuclear palsy, has not been able to attend church services much at all in recent months. Let's pray for God's strength and healing for her today. Joey Etheridge, uh, Marsha's mother-in-law, Vivian, Tim Workman, Russ, and my dad, Ron Bryant, all needing healing of Parkinson's as well. Those with stomach issues, Kristen's neighbor, Natalie, Olivia, Regina's granddaughter, Aubrey, Heather Spence, Michael Parrott. Uh, we're praying for Mara Sullivan, who has lupus and autoimmune disease, Ginger Williams, who has diverticulitis and hernia, Aubrey Matthews, having pregnancy complications recently, Mr. Lauren, who is elderly and needs severe heart and lung healing, and Miss Judy, who is elderly and is trying to take care of everything herself. We're praying for continued recovery today for Kristen's cousin Grady, who had a bike accident and also has uh, diabetic challenges. Seth uh, needs our continued prayers as he recovers from an injury to his hand and subsequent surgery. He needs to be able to have all the filling restored in his fingers and for the skin to grow back properly. My Aunt Virginia Pride is going through chemotherapy. Uh, Brother Huey uh, needs uh, healing after suffering stroke. He needs rest restoration of all function. Uh, Carmen's cousins, Kelly and Shannon, Tina's mother, Johnny's nephew, Joey, and Sheila Sappington are all also needing prayers as they recover from stroke. And Sheila had a recent leg amputation that has uh, put her in rehab uh, to overcome those challenges. My Aunt Nova Bryant recently had a knee surgery, I believe just uh, last week, and Jeff Anglin had a terrible car accident a couple weeks ago and has gone through multiple surgeries uh, and is needing our prayer for his recovery process. Other health needs, Shirley Park Perkins, Mike and Tony Hodge, Gary Nelson, Chloe Isaac, Jim Johnson, Jimmy Holden, Nicole, Meredith, Regina Bishop, Judy's brother, Phyllis Robinette, Wilda Morrison, Shirley Garner, 
and Devin Huff. We have a special and spoken request uh, for Judy and Mike's daughter, Jennifer, and family. And uh, Mike has asked us to focus especially on Thursday, as that's a very important time uh, in this um, situation. So let's believe for a miracle for their family and for the uh, spiritual needs of their entire family, not just this particular situation. Uh, other family needs and spiritual needs, let's keep praying for Jenny Perkins' sister, Lisa, who needs mental, emotional, and spiritual healing. Rebecca Williams' mom, Dana Vasquez, needs uh, her life to be turned around uh, by the power of God. We know that that, is, uh, that God is able to do anything. Carrie Jones and her family, Art Chandler, the Rush family, Annette and Dave, JR, Alicia, all needing our continued prayers. Ashley Johnson and Dawson need deliverance from drugs. Dawson needs healing of mental issues. William Davies uh, is struggling with alcoholism and has related health issues. Uh, we also have a dear family member who struggles uh, with alcoholism and we're believing for his deliverance as well. Pam Davies needs strength to take care of her husband. She needs spiritual strength as well. Let's keep praying for Pam Poyma's family, for Debbie Biddick's daughters and their families who all need salvation, the Sappingtons, uh, Johnny's brother uh, battling and needing deliverance. Uh, a young lady that Johnny has invited to church needs our continued prayers. Let's keep praying for Matt and Michaela and Mark and Caitlin, uh, for Regina Marlin's family members, uh, specifically Aubrey, Loren, Tyler, and Charles. Charles needs deliverance from addiction as well. Marcia and Britt's family needs our continued prayers today. Let's keep praying for Josh. Uh, for Baby G's adoption proceedings, for Beulah's family. We need to pray for Judy Johnson's grandson, Holden, who's been getting into some uh, situations that he doesn't need to be involved in. Uh, this is also the, the continual prayer for uh, Beulah's granddaughter as well. Uh, we're praying for Maury's finances and for his children, for our Mingo RCF residents and our Job Corps students. We're praying for Gene again today, for Rose Brown's family, for Cheryl's family member, for Grace's best friend's family. We're praying for wholeness and peace in their relationships. Johnny Nelson's family, Jennifer and Brenda's family, and Alan, all of these needing our continued prayers today. Our global North American missionaries need continual prayer covering. Let's remember them today, and especially those who are in war-torn areas such as Ukraine and um, the surrounding nations. Uh, our Missouri uh, NAM focus this month, our North American Missions prayer focus, is Pastor Sheila Bowens and the church in Owensville. They are experiencing great revival, baptizing people uh, every week. And I believe they had three receive the Holy Ghost yesterday and some backsliders return home as God drew them to the church service. And let's just keep praying for continued success um, there in Owensville. Uh, coming up in December, we are kicking off our Christmas for Christ campaign to raise funds for our North American missionaries. And this is not too early for us to begin prayerfully considering uh, giving our best gift uh, on behalf of Christ this year to our North American missions efforts. Uh, good morning to each of you today. Uh, we're so glad to have each of you with us praying, and I see there's some new requests posted. I'll try to mention them as we go through here, welcoming each of you. Good to see you, Johnny, Mom and Dad, Judy, uh, Kristen, God bless you, Marsha, and uh, Sherman, um, Carmen with us this morning. God bless you today, and everyone who prays with us each weekday morning or at a time that is uh, possible for you to join us later as you watch the video and there are several who do that. I would say there's uh, more that uh, are joining us later in the day than join us live here each weekday morning. Uh, but I do thank God for those of you who are able uh, to make that sacrifice to start the morning out with me here in prayer. Um, Carmen's praising the Lord that he has sustained uh, them for another day. And uh, we're so glad that God is holding us in his hands today. Uh, good morning. Um, 
Uh, Marsha, she wants us to pray for Josh, who needs a job. Let's keep lifting up Josh today. Uh, Kristen uh, is praising God for baby Viviana and little Macy, both home from the hospital. The families are thanking us for all the prayers. What a great report this morning. Uh, Pastor Dole Mitchell is having a procedure on his heart. Um, let's remember that need along with the special unspoken prayers uh, for Judy and Mike's daughter and family. Um, we're praying for uh, George again this morning. Uh, but I did mention that need on our list. And we are believing for complete healing for him. Well, God bless you this morning for being with us. Let's go to the Word of God reading from the book of Hosea this morning. Hosea chapter 14 and verse 4. And um, I will not uh, read the other scriptures surrounding. I'll fill in the blanks here as we go along. But verse 4 simply says, uh, and this is God speaking, I will heal their backsliding. I will love them freely for my anger has turned away from him. Uh, talking about his uh, people, uh, that his anger has turned away and that he is going to reach down and heal their backsliding. So important that we understand the need for healing spiritually, not just healing physically, but for people who have walked away from the Lord for various reasons. Um, they need healing as well in a spiritual and emotional uh, sense. Trials and difficulties, what we commonly refer to as wilderness moments, often drive us toward Jesus. However, some people, uh, instead of coming to the Lord, they begin to fight against the will of God for their life, and they sometimes will uh, blame God, become bitter towards God, and respond in a negative fashion to their wilderness. Uh, when blessings come, uh, many people uh, are drawn by the goodness of God and they will begin to turn their lives around. And yet other people, uh, the goodness of God uh, becomes a curse in their life because they quickly forget their purpose as they are enjoying blessings that come from the Lord. Many people at some point believe that they're blessing themselves and that they do not need any outside help. What a deception. And I don't want to fall prey to that. I don't want to ever lose sight of heaven. I don't want to stray from the path of true Christianity. That's what happened to Israel here in the book of Hosea. It records the spiritual waywardness of God's people, of an entire nation. God, through the prophet, mourned the fact that the people had sacrificed to idols and felt no remorse for their wickedness. God declared in Hosea chapter 11, verse 7, My people are bent to backsliding from me. Consequently, instead of being a witness to the surrounding nations as God intended them to be, God's people became captives in a faraway land. And yet their enemies did not have a final say because God did not abandon Israel. I'm so glad to know this morning that God does not abandon us when we fail him and when we run from him and when we reject him. Here in this passage of scripture, God promised, I will heal their backsliding. I will love them freely for my anger is turned away from them. I'm so glad to know that God is a restorer. I'm so glad to know that when we repent, he can turn our lives into a testimony of his redemptive power. I think this morning we ought to give God thanks for uh, that restoration that he provides, that ministry of reconciliation that he has given to the church. And there are so many in need of that today. I witnessed so beautifully in the service yesterday, God healing backslidings, people who at some point have had some type of relationship with God um, or have had a very deep relationship with God. We saw them turning their hearts once again toward the Lord and just such a beautiful uh, time in God's presence as we focused upon the faithfulness of God. He is faithful to us in every situation, in blessing and in the times that we are living in utter failure. God is there. And uh, I would encourage you, if you haven't had a chance, if you would go back and, and watch the message from yesterday, 
there's probably someone you can share that message with that it will be a help to and a blessing to. This morning, let's go to the Lord in prayer and let's continue to focus on our own spiritual uh, need for strength today that we can continue to be an example to those who are needing to turn back to the Lord. And uh, even as God called Hosea to be an example to his nation, he wants us to be an example to those around us who are suffering the results of sin in their life today and the results of brokenness that many times has been brought into their lives by the actions of others. Lord Jesus, we thank you today for your mercy and grace, for your hand that's upon our lives every day. We thank you, Lord, that you've never left us, never forsaken us, and that you never will. You are the one constant in my life. You're the one that regardless of any a thing going on that your love is unconditional and you're there uh, for me in every situation. I thank you for the assurance of your presence today and I thank you for the witness of your spirit among your people this morning. We know that you're here with us right now, God. We know that you're moving in our families today. You're moving in each and every need. You're our healer. You're our restorer. You're the one that brings the victory for us today. We're believing, God, in the work of your strong right arm today. And we're also trusting in the work that you're doing on the left hand that we cannot yet witness. Oh, hallelujah. We trust, God, in your hidden work that will be manifest in due season in our lives. We give you the praise and the glory this morning. And we believe, God, for miracles, signs, and wonders among your people. We're believing, God, for your kingdom to come and for your will to be done in earth as it is in heaven today. Hallelujah. We lift up Josh today. God, we're believing for a job for him in Jesus' name. We're giving you praise, God, for these victory reports that are being submitted today. We're believing, God, for the special unspoken need for Judy's daughter and her family. God, you are the miracle worker, and you're able, God, to move right now in that situation. We believe for you to touch George this morning and to restore him completely in the name of Jesus, in body and in spirit. Touch Brother Mitchell right now. God, minister healing to him as he's facing this heart procedure and others who are facing problems with their hearts today. God, we believe for complete healing for each and every one whose name is on this list right now that's suffering from heart problems. God, we declare victory. We pray for Charles Hedspeth today as he's going in for surgery to have this mass removed from his kidney. We're praying for everything to go well for him. We're praying for uh, Erica today for this knot that's on her left rib cage. We're believing God for this knot to disappear in Jesus' name. We pray for uh, Amy D today, God, dealing with congestive heart failure. We pray, God, for Pat's sister-in-law, Veda, who's been having chest pain. We lift up Tammy Lawson, who's facing surgery on her cervical spine next month. In the name of Jesus, God, move on her behalf today. We pray, Lord, for all those who are suffering with back pain. Lord, those who are suffering with uh, viruses and COVID and different uh, illnesses right now. We pray for Finn today, God, for your healing touch for him. We lift up Rose Brown and June Coffer, believing for healing of arthritis. We believe for healing of these mobility problems for Renee and Chris. We lift up those who are battling with diabetes today. We give you, Lord, the praise in advance for the healing touch that we know that we are already experiencing. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we come against every lung condition. Hallelujah. We believe, God, for healing of MS today. We believe for healing of head injuries that have caused chronic issues, healing of migraine headaches today. Lord, we speak against that pain that is going on right now. Those that are suffering right now as we're praying, we believe for that pain to leave their body. We pray, God, for these children today, Lord, for their deliverance from affliction, for Arlo and Abram and Abel, for Tano, for Lorelei and Tucker and Jenna, for Madison and Sophia, for baby G, for Gus's grandson, for Abby, for Brantley and Elsie today. In Jesus' name, Lord, we lift up all those who are battling with cancer. Hallelujah, you are the healer of all manner of sickness and disease. And there's nothing that is too hard for you. Oh God, there is no situation that is too far gone for you. We pray, God, for those who are on hospice care today. 
Let your help be with them right now. Oh, hallelujah. Move in their situation, God. We pray, God, for your perfect will to be done. We pray for Chad Jones, who's facing surgery to remove the mass that they believe is cancerous. We know, God, that you're the miracle worker, and we trust you with this situation. We pray against Parkinson's disease in the name of Jesus. Lord, for those who are bedbound, those who are confined to their homes, those who are in nursing homes today, God, we believe, God, for them to be ministered to, and Lord, for them to receive healing, not only physically, but also spiritually and emotionally. We pray for those who are battling loneliness today, those who are battling depression today, God, Lord, that they would be lifted out of that situation and that mindset, Lord, that can become so dangerous. We don't want to see anyone stay in a protracted stage of discouragement. Oh, God, touch our minds today. Save and heal and deliver. Set free today those who are struggling. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Strengthen the feeble hands and knees today. Oh, God, let the hands be lifted up with strength today. Let the knees be strengthened today, spiritually speaking, in Jesus' name. We pray, God, for Sister Sullivan and for Ginger Williams. We pray for Aubrey Matthews, who's dealing with pregnancy issues. We lift up Mr. Lord and Miss Judy today. We pray for Shirley Perkins and Mike and Tony Hodge. We lift up Gary Nelson and Chloe Isaac. We pray for Jim Johnson and Jimmy Holden, for Nicole and Meredith, for Regina, for Judy's brother, and for Phyllis Robinette. We pray for Wilda Morrison and Shirley Garner. We lift up Devin Huff again today. We pray, God, for uh, their physical healing, and we pray, God, for continued recovery for these who have suffered accidents and injuries and stroke and those who are recovering from surgeries. We pray, Lord, for these special unspoken needs. God, work a miracle for Judy and Mike's family, for Jennifer and her family specifically today. You know the need, God, and we know that you're there in that situation. Whatever that's going on, God, you are there, and you have not forsaken us. Oh, God, let somehow let there be spiritual healing come from this situation. In Jesus' name, we believe for our families. We believe for Judy and Mike's entire family. We believe for Jenny's sister, Lisa, today. We believe for Rebecca's mom, Dana, today, God. Lord, you are our deliverer. We pray for Carrie and her family, for Art Chandler, for the Rush family. We lift up Annette and Dave and Jr. We pray for Alicia. We pray for Ashley and Dawson and William today, believing for their deliverance of we pray for Pam Davies, God, that you would give her spiritual strength and that she would be able to continue to care for her husband. We pray for Sister Pam's family again this morning. God, there's a mighty revival in our families. We thank you, Lord, for the testimonies of what you're doing in families, God. We pray for Debbie's family, for their salvation, for the Sappingtons, for Johnny's brother. We pray for the young lady that Johnny's been inviting to church. We lift up Brother Mark's children today, Matt and Michaela and Mark and Caitlin. We pray for Brother Mark's situation with his truck, Lord, that he would be able to get it back on the road again. We pray for Regina today and for her family, for Aubrey and Loren, for Tyler and Charles. God, deliver Charles from the addiction that he battles. We pray, God, for Marcia and Britt's family. Hallelujah. We pray, God, for Josh's situation. We pray for Baby G's adoption proceedings. We lift up Beulah's family. We pray for her granddaughter, Amber, and for Judy Johnson's grandson, Holden. God, move in their lives today. Move in Gene's life today, God, that he would find his way to you. Lord, continue to move in our Job Corps ministry, in our Mingo RCF ministry. I thank you for what you're doing in Eric's life, in Sarah's life. Hallelujah. Thank you for Zachary and Jeffrey, who were baptized in your name yesterday. We thank you for what you're doing, God. Hallelujah. We thank you for every soul, God, that you're bringing, hallelujah, to spiritual renewal. We pray, God, for Rose's family. We pray for Maury's children and for his financial situation. We lift up Cheryl today, God, and her family. We pray for Grace's best friend's family, for Johnny's family, for Jennifer and Brenda's family, and for Alan. And we pray, God, for our missionaries today who are raising up new works both in foreign lands and right here in North America. God, we believe for your help for them. 
for our missionaries in every nation and for our North American missionaries right here in Missouri. We pray for Sister Sheila Bowens and for her church in Owensville. God, for continued revival and for strength for her to lead that church in Jesus' name. We pray for an end to the war in Ukraine. We know, God, that you're moving today. We pray for your will to be done in our elections tomorrow. Oh, God, let, you, let this nation turn its heart back toward you. And we give you the praise and the glory for what you're doing. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you this morning. Thank you for being a part of prayer ministry each and every weekday morning. And I just feel like God is going to continue to move in these needs as we are faithful in prayer throughout the week. Join me again tomorrow right here at Facebook Live uh, at 7.30 in the morning. And we'll do this all over again, continuing to believe God for great and mighty things. I will see you then.